So about a year ago, I did a cat rescue. Um, and uh, it was definitely my first one. I'd only just uh, rescued Luna there, so I really didn't know how to handle a cat. Uh, I, had, I gave it a go, I, I filmed it on a GoPro, and uh, I thought I might go through the experience with you. I got a uh, Turfle Burger rope bag, and I thought this uh, sounds like the perfect bag to, um, uh, to put the cat in and then transport it. Um, there you can see my basal anchor, which is uh, an ID on a snake anchor. Uh, I've got a um, Alpine butterfly on a beaner as my stopper knot, uh, which I tend to uh, clip to the tail. You don't really have to do this. Um, if you watch the uh, snake anchor video by ART, um, it's, uh, uh, it, it just shows that a, uh, just a knot is fine. You don't have to reconnect that to the anchor. Uh, you can see that I've uh, uh, pre-set a redirect so that I could pretty much go directly to where the cat was. I pre-set it from the ground using the throw lines. Unfortunately, my, my lanyard is the same color as my rope, so it's a little bit confusing to look at it, um, especially with one of the two of these moves. Like here, where I advance up my main climbing system, which is on the rope runner, uh, I ponytail that up to advance it, and then here I pull the, um, the slack through, you know, the, the standing end. Um, and uh, uh, yeah, with, with uh, two, a lanyard and the climbing line being the same color, it's a little bit confusing. And there's the culprit there, now in a way. So um, yeah, I gave it a little scritch here just to let it know that I'm a friendly human. Uh, it was a bit disturbed. It had been up there for about three days, I think, uh, to memory. Uh, and it hadn't been, uh, uh, I can't remember the gender, but uh, uh, spayed or neutered yet. And that was my main concern, is that this, if this one gets out, it would become a feral cat and then breed, and that's a huge problem with, with uh, wildlife. So it really was a priority to get that uh, down, and I think they have, they've probably dealt with it by now. Yeah, so I hung out there for a little while, just letting it be familiar with me and feel a little bit more comfortable around me. Uh, then I pulled out the bag, put a bit of bark in there to show that uh, what goes in there stays in there and doesn't fall down to the ground. And there you can see it boops its head through, just to have a good look at the bag. Because uh, guess what, kitty cat, you're going in there. <laughs> so it seen it got a little bit freaked out at this point. It was um, wanting to climb up, but it, it didn't want to risk climbing up. It just didn't like this situation at all. So um, I clipped the bag. What did I do? I was going to clip that part, that rope part, to my chest harness, but uh, the rope was too thick. So then I changed my mind here and I used one of the red gear loops that um, I modded on. All right, so now I've got this bag hands-free, and uh, I go for grabbing a cat. <laughs> and it didn't really like that. Here it's uh, grabbing onto the tree. No! <laughs> okay, here's my first mistake. Apparently, if you put a cat in a bag, it's best to put it in head first. Um, putting it in, in, you know, tail first, it's just got its claws and wants to get out. Um, it was uh, clawing pretty hard on my arms. I kept this, even though it was hot weather, I kept this long sleeve shirt on just to give me some protection, but it did get through and scratch me a little. And then eventually I just grabbed its neck to, I, I'm not squeezing, but I'm holding it firmly to get it to go in. Uh, so it's pretty risky business putting this on the internet because it looks a lot like I'm uh, mistreating a, a cat. It, it definitely wasn't hurt from this. <laughs> Please don't destroy me on the internet, but... Uh, yeah, that's how I handled it. I know now I should just put them in head first and I wouldn't have to go through that. It wouldn't be so much of a battle. Um, here coming down, I uh, made a bit of an error here where just a tiny hiccup. I go to pull my lanyard out and of course there's a knot on my uh, crappy uh, lanyard and it got jammed. So I had to uh, just stand up a bit and free that. Um, I mean, now I've got a spliced a spliced lanyard and it's all a bit more legit, but that was just a dodgy, quick, homemade lanyard that I uh, whipped up in the field. All right, so uh, I tried to make it a, a bit of a smooth descent coming down. Uh, I didn't want it to be too bumpy or rapid because I've got a package uh, that I don't want to freak out. I unclipped from the system and I actually left the rope and the gear in the tree it's saying, I'll come back for that, let's just get the cat home. And uh, yeah, this, this is uh, in the bush. So uh, it wasn't any risk of my gear getting stolen. And uh, yeah, I asked uh, one of the gentlemen to ride on the back of the tray. This um, wasn't a public road, this is a private road, so it wasn't illegal.
but I felt that if he sits on the tray holding the bag, that it won't vibrate so much and he'll have a human with him to uh, sort of reassure the cat and not feel too scared because it is now trapped inside a bag. Uh, this, this coming up is a funny part. Um, that was a little, little dog, but this, this Staffy uh, guided us all the way back to the property. He just led the way, knew where we were going. was very excited to go for a run. I thought that was really cool. And uh, yeah, I asked them for permission to film the uh, cat coming out. They said that was totally cool. Um, maybe don't judge <laughs> if the room's a little messy. Uh, mine usually is too. But yeah, I just wanted to see the cat coming out of the bag, um, which was adorable. And of course, first thing it did was try to escape again. Ungrateful little bastard. <laughs> So yeah, that was it. That was really exciting for me. That's so far the only cat rescue I've ever done. And it was definitely, it was, you know, my first one. And I thought it was really cool. Um, uh, I'm, I'm starting to get into cats now that I have one myself. Uh, they're very different from dogs. They're a totally different kettle of fish, but uh, they're pretty cool. I like them. Of course, um, uh, with our cat, we have to have a cat run so that it's um, not going out at night killing the wildlife. And we give it limited time outside during the day. Um, but yeah, I'm ranting about my cat now. You don't care about my cat. You care about tree climbing. All right. Uh, yeah. Thanks for, uh, watching these videos about tree climbing. I'm enjoying making them, so I'll keep doing that. And, um, yeah, that wraps it up. Different hat every time now. <laughs> okay.